welcome to the Why Not, where we believe that if others can, you also can. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Joe Kovac. I'm so happy to be talking to you. You are welcome to the Why Not Show, where we believe that if others can, you definitely can. There is no magic in nothing. You believe it, you receive it. You can do everything and be everything like before even going to anything that will always be my first line yeah if you come to the wine and show you just know that your mind is ready and set for things beyond your imagination as i always say you don't have to see things coming you don't have to see things coming your way you just need to believe and god We'll work it out. God will work it out. One thing I know, one thing I found. <laughs> God will work it out. You may be believing God for a lot of things, indescribable. And yeah, don't limit your dreams, don't limit your perceptions of Zunguru Janati, don't limit your faith. Don't limit your faith. Don't put God to, to a standstill. Don't put God in a box. Like don't limit God to only something you believe he can do. You know? Wow. Okay. Let me just break this down. Don't limit God to something you only believe he can do. It is, you have faith, yes, and you believe in God for this good thing, the biggest thing in your head has ever been, yes, but then don't limit God to your faith. I don't know if I'm trying to make sense. Don't limit God to your faith. Don't limit God to what you think he can do. Maybe you are believing God for this particular job. And you're like in your mind, if God does this, whoo, maze, he would have done it all. I'm here to surprise you, or to shock you, or to reverse the way you think. You just need to play back a little bit and then think again. And then when you think again, you need to think again because like he is indescribable, uncontainable all-powerful, all-knowing. He's just everything that you can think of and beyond. Yeah? Everything you can think of and beyond. Our faith, we have faith. Even the Bible says, if you have faith as little as the mustard seed, you can have that faith. Yeah. But then our faith is also limited at a point. You know? We can't stand, like people can see you as someone who has a lot of faith. Like you've believed God for a lot of things and literally they've come your way. But in your head, you also know that maybe I didn't believe enough. I didn't think enough. I didn't pray enough. Like there's something beyond. There's something beyond. What is that beyond that is beyond that is beyond? Like, I don't know, guys, if I'm making sense, but I just feel like I'm making so much sense in my head. What is that beyond that is beyond? There's a point when you have your faith to the boom. Like you have your faith to the boom, yeah? And it wants to flow and it overflows. Like your faith is too much. If it is to be described like that, it is too much. But then, Chosen is just telling, telling you that your faith is not enough. It also doesn't make sense to me, by the way. You're not allowed. That faith that you think, whoo, if God does this, oh, today he has done it. Your faith is so little. Your faith is too little. Because, I don't know, because you'll never have, I don't know even what you can think of. There are those things you imagine that they have never existed and for some reason, maybe someone else has ever thought of about them, but just because they didn't put them on internet or tell someone about it. 
Yeah. So you believe. And you continue believing. And you continue believing. And you continue believing. Every day is a step to your next miracle. Every day you believe. Every day is the next step to whatever you're believing God for. You, you may have believed God for something in two years. And then you, you limited it to two years. In two years, I'll have this. I'll have that. I'll have that. And it happens that in the two years, nothing actually happens. Just like that. But guess what? <laughs> you keep moving. The days still go by. The time doesn't go backwards. <coughs> it keeps on. It keeps on. So as time keeps on moving, keep on your faith. Let that faith go. Don't stop. Keep believing. Believe like. Believe. We all believe God for something in a certain moment in time, in a certain moment in life. You may be believing God for passing your school, university, maybe even P7. Like, you believe God for a lot of things. You may believe God for a pen. Other, other guys are believing, or other people are believing God for a pencil. Other people are believing God for something to eat in a day. Other people are believing God for marriage children a lot of things come on the way and you always have to believe god for something like there's always something that you have to believe god for and that is what i'm trying to say let that faith be continuous the more you make it continuous the more it will make sense to you the more you make it continuous the more it will not be like a burden it will be this kind of daily routine that sometimes becomes becomes beyond your daily routine and it's a lifestyle, you know? And when it is a lifestyle, things just happen and you're like, oh, this has also come. Because it is not a surprise. You believe God, you trust God, and you know he's going to make it anyway, you know? So, and when he comes at that point when he's ready, Make it because it can also take some, some time, really, guys. God, God, yes, God can take some time to answer your prayers, but that doesn't mean you give up on your prayers, you give up on your dreams, you give up on your goals, you give up on your ambitions in the due time. <laughs> yeah, in the due time, he makes all things not some of the things, all things beautiful. So whatever you believe in God for, believe. Believe. Bambi. Kiriza. Kiriza. Kiriza katona. Na mtima gugona. Na mwe gugona. Ne meme yona. The Bible says in Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in God with all your heart. All your mind. All your soul. Like everything around you. Let that trust God. And God will direct your path. Directing your path can be letting you know your next step. Maybe it may not be like a path, 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 but like what to do next. Just guide you. Just help you make those very sensitive decisions that you may want to listen from a thousand people and everyone is telling you this and that and this and that. You want to get married. You want to do this. You want to do that. Like everyone will always have their opinions or options about how they want you to do your life. But always trust God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with everything within you. And God will surely direct your path. You will not fail, I tell you. You'll have a thousand noises, a thousand ideas, a thousand advisors, a thousand counselors, a thousand parents, a thousand sponsors, a thousand guardians, a thousand mates, a thousand workmates, a thousand, mention it, mention it, mention it, a thousand of those. But there's that one voice who always cling out if you're really sensitive. And it may not make noise. It will just be silent. It tells you joy or Phoebe or whatever you feel you relate to, you know. 
whatever you relate to so much. Because God wants to associate with you. Associate, associate. Oh, English. God wants to identify. That is what I was looking for. God always wants to identify with you. He wants to identify with your pain. He wants to identify with your success. He wants to identify with every little step in your life. So don't reach at a point of success. Oh, celebrate God. And then you reach at a point of pain and then you're like, he doesn't care. I know those feelings are there. And yeah, it feels like that sometimes. But identify yourself with God. Wow, I don't know how this topic is changing now. Identify yourself with God. Because God wants to identify with you at every particular area of your life. Every little, however little he, it may seem, God wants to identify with that. It is never too stupid or never nonsense or never, I don't know the word to use. Everything that happens in your life, everything, whether you want to go to the toilet, whether you want to pee, and maybe your pee is a different color. Maybe you go to the toilet, and maybe your poo is a different color. Like those, even those funny, funny, funny moments. One day I was in, I was doing internship at World Vision, and I went to the toilet. I think I was identified with with God so much that when I went to the toilet, I was like, "Please, Jesus, don't peep." Like. Just let me do my business. You know, when you identify with God to the point that you feel he's there, like he's always there. Identify yourself with God because God identifies with you. God, I don't know where this has come from. I was going to tell you something totally different and you knew I was speaking something totally different. But I don't know whether where this identity thing has come from but this is it identify yourself with god because god is ready to identify with you he's not ashamed about you he's not ashamed of you what you have done before or what you're even thinking of doing after will not take god away from the fact that he knows you you just need to come back to the tables repent god is always there like we are here this is God, this is you. You come, oh, I have so much intimacy with God. And then you do something, you shoo, 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 shoo. God is there. Like, you know? And then you're like, oh, maybe he will forgive me. Maybe. You come back. Who comes you back? Because it says, even however filthy your sins will look like, you're white. You wipe them away as white as snow. And then you go back because you're human. You know, you're always like, you're not stable. But today, try to identify yourself with God. What a message. I love you so much. I said you're covered. That is it for today. Stay tuned and identify yourself with God. He's ready to identify with you. Why not?